today we're gonna talk about how to grow sweet potatoes. Sweet potato is one of my favorite vegetables to eat. Uh, my memory with sweet potatoes is always during Christmas or Thanksgiving. My mother-in-law cooks amazing mashed sweet potatoes. So I'm just obsessed with it since then. I just recently discovered you can actually do this. I was very surprised when I first saw a picture on Instagram. I was like, whoa. I didn't know you could do that. So I went to supermarket, I just picked one up and I decided to go home and do it myself. I've heard people say do not buy uh, sweet potatoes or potatoes you're trying to grow from supermarket just because they spray some chemicals on them so to prevent them from sprouting or going bad but um, I didn't have a chance to go to farmer's market so it, it worked out for me so we're gonna talk about step by step how you can do this at the comfort of your home let's start with containers so I got this container from uh, Trader Joe's it actually came with a hyacinth box the whole thing was $2.50 so if you are lucky you can get your hands on one of these these are great for any propagation but I actually just recently moved my sweet potato into this container I actually start off with this cup which has a larger opening on the top uh, the only reason was because the hardest thing to figure out when you try to grow a potato is to figure out which one is the top which one which side is the bottom and I, and I had no idea which one because at the time you can see the eyes grow from both the top and the bottom grow eyes on both sides how do I know which one is up which one is down so I just decided to put this put the potato into this cup with the bigger opening and put some toothpick on the four side of the potato the potato was held up like this the benefit for by doing this is if you did it upside down the leaves turned out grew from the bottom of it it still has space to keep growing from the side yes that did happen I've watched tons of videos on YouTube I realized when you put it upside down what happened is your potato doesn't get suffocated it actually grow roots and leaves the same time from the same place the top will be bare there will be nothing on the top of the potato so for me i was lucky enough to happen to choose the right side my roots grew out normally very healthy as well as the leaves on the top i left them in water for about over five weeks and it didn't do anything nothing happened and one day um, the roots start to develop the roots came out first about a week after the roots came out I see a little bit the tiny little purple stems start to come out there's such vigorous growers I had all these leaves within two weeks yes they are that easy to grow so if you have a lot of leaves you can actually cut them and just uh, saute them or just put them in your salad eat them as a salad and one thing I want to mention is sweet potato is actually not a real potato it belongs to the family of morning glory it's a flower uh, vine vine it's a flowering viney plant a vine flowering plant a it's a vine that flowers okay so you can actually grow it indoor as a house plant I mean I think they look adorable now you can see the leaves are turning more and more matte but I posted uh, a picture on Instagram two days ago the baby leaves look literally look like a begonia because they were so shiny they look metallic magical magnificent I just loved the new leaves they look so pretty but yeah, as they grow bigger and bigger, their leaves are turning more like matte looking. But they're still very pretty. And the stems are purple. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm just so in love with the foliage. I I can I can't imagine chop it off and eat it. But we are going to chop it off today, just not gonna eat it. I'm gonna show you how I propagate them and grow little potatoes. This guy is really long. I'm going to 
snipped it off and propagated it in water. So it'll develop roots and I can transplant it into soil and eventually grow little tubers, which are the sweet potatoes. Oh, okay, I got it. A little piece of it came off. So this is a root and this is a piece. And this is the rest of it. Of course, you're gonna need the roots to develop from nodes. So I'm gonna take off these leaves. See, I have one, two, three, four. Four nodes that they can grow rose from. I'm gonna put it in water. And I will, of course, add some water later. So it'll submerge all the nodes. So that's my first stem. I'm going to take more when these babies grow up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It just supports me and motivates me to keep going, keep making more and more great content. All right, cheers, friends. Happy growing. <laughs>